Today, we're delving into the full summary of Jujutsu Kaisen Chapter 249. In the previous chapter, Sukuna discovered Itadori's reversed curse technique, causing him to contemplate his own ideals. Following this, a new rule was introduced to the culling game, coinciding with Yuta Okotsu's entry into the battle. So, what unfolds in Chapter 249? On the first page, we are presented with a brief flashback shortly after Yuta strikes down Kenjaku. Not long after that, we see cursed spirits manipulated by Geto Suguru becoming wild and uncontrollable. Rika then fights against the horde of cursed spirits. Here, Kenjaku adds a new rule, number 15, stating, Fushiguro Megumi holds the authority to merge Tengen and humanity. Kenjaku explains that he has prepared for such an eventuality, and now Kenjaku has finished the ritual of succession to Sukuna. On the other side, Master Tengen transforms into a small fetus. Kenjaku says that it cannot be denied that for him, these 1,000 years have been enjoyable if Sukuna becomes his final piece to play. Back to the present, Yuta and Rika face off against Sukuna. Sukuna's power begins to recover little by little, and it's just a matter of time before he can use his domain expansion again. This chapter confirms that Higuruma has died, and Yuta thinks he should have been the backup for Yuji and the others against Sukuna, while Maki is tasked with killing Kenjaku. However, if it's not Yuta and Rika who kill Kenjaku, then Kenjaku's unleashed cursed spirits will be a disaster, on the same scale as when he released cursed spirits at the end of the Shibuya incident. The battle between Sukuna and Yuta begins. Yuta says that everything he said before was just an excuse. The real reason Yuta killed Kenjaku is because of his own desire. The chaotic situation of fighting against Sukuna is his fault. Shortly after, Yuta uses the domain expansion True and Mutual Love. Sukuna, entering Yuta's domain expansion, immediately uses his old simple domain model, Hollow Wicker Basket. Yuta attacks Sukuna with Takako's technique named Thin Icebreaker. In this domain, Yuta is determined to end it all. On the other hand, Sukuna learns about Yuta's technique from Megumi's memories. And from that knowledge, Sukuna understands the effect of the domain. According to Sukuna, Yuta's domain allows him to attack using unlimited curse techniques. Furthermore, to counter the definite effect of the domain, Sukuna must activate Hollow Wicker Basket, which requires his arms to be kept intact to maintain hand seals. The unlimited cursed techniques here do not refer to those possessed by Gojo, but refer to Yuta's diverse arsenal of techniques. Yuta will fight against Sukuna, while Yuji will draw Sukuna out of Megumi's body. Finally, Yuji has an important role now, 